Hey everyone, and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. I've been in a crafting mood recently and may have become obsessed with stamping. So, let's go and see if 3D printing can be used to make some custom stamps. First, we need to design the stamps. You can use any 3D modeling program you like to make them, so I'll have a few follow-up videos on exactly how I made these designs using some different programs. These stamps turned out to be extremely simple to design, a perfect beginner's project. First, draw out the shape you want and extrude it to about 3 millimeters, and then add a simple base to hold on to. I went with a design for a thumbs up, one with the Hoffman Engineering logo, and then finally a fancy stamp like you would see on a return address. Be sure to mirror the stamps before printing, otherwise the stamps will read backwards. Ask me how I know. Now comes time for printing. I printed the thumbs up and the logo in PLA on my filament printer. These were quick prints, about 30 minutes each. I was left with a small amount of strings between the letters, but it was easy to clean up with some hot air and a knife. I also wanted a smoother top stamping surface, so some sandpaper was used to make it nice and even. As for the address stamp, the letters were just too small to be printed using the filament printer, so I used my Nobel 1.0A resin printer, which can achieve such detail, and printed it in a clear resin. Unlike the filament printer, any uncured resin needs to be rinsed off before the stamp is ready to be used. So a quick bath in isopropyl alcohol and we are ready to stamp. Here are the ink pads and stamps I'll be using. These are just some standard pigment ink pads you can pick up for cheap from pretty much any craft store. Let's give the stamp a try. To my surprise, it worked pretty well. The thumbs up was pretty solid and left a good impression. The Hoffman Engineering logo ended up kind of spotty. I think that might be due to an uneven top surface finish. Some more sanding might take care of that. But overall, the filament 3D printer made quick and cheap stamps that were actually usable. And the ink cleaned off pretty well with some alcohol, which means you can easily switch between the different colors of inks. To try out the resin stamp, I have a special ink. It's designed for embossing powder, which is an amazing powder that can be melted together after stamping to provide a shiny, smooth, and raised surface texture. It feels much like embossed paper afterwards. The powder deserves its own video, so keep an eye out for that. You take a normal stamp and use an adhesive ink to stamp it. The resin stamped worked perfectly, much more consistent than the filament stamps. All of the little details showed, even the small letters and thin filigree. After the adhesive is down, you pour the embossing powder over it and remove the excess powder. Then finally, using a hot air gun, the powder is melted. I could watch this all day. In the end, you have a beautiful glossy and raised surface. So in summary, custom stamps are easy to make using 3D printing. Smaller text and designs can be hard to achieve on filament printers, but both the filament and resin printers can produce amazing custom stamps. Any standard plastic works well, you do not need flexible rubber like most stamps are made out of. I also discovered the joys of embossing powder. So thank you all for watching this video, and thank you patrons for supporting my crafting addiction. If you would like to help out the channel, check out my Patreon account linked down below, and you can get access to perks like my project list and early access to my videos. And if you tried making custom stamps, I would love to read your comments down below. So, with your newfound knowledge, print some stamps and go craft, and I'll see you all next time.